<laughs> well, the 2022 Beijing Olympics will go down as the most restricted games in history. COVID changed everything. Yeah, it sure did. And as we say goodbye to these Olympics, our Alex Cabrero, who's now on his way back home to Utah, was one of the few NBC affiliate reporters who traveled to China. He was also there for the 2008 Summer Olympics reporting for KSL and says the lasting legacy of the 2022 Olympic Games will be very different. Yeah, it's almost sad to experience how different the two Olympics that have been held here in Beijing are. I mean, the Olympics are supposed to be fun. The world's coming together to celebrate athletes and sports. Beijing 2022 might be considered a success when all is said and done, but it won't be anything like what we saw here in 2008. In the two and a half weeks of these winter games, Beijing Olympic Park near the bird's nest has been eerily empty. There was some movement, but much of it just the volunteers looking for anything to do. The venue stood proud, so did the security officers, but for a city of 28 million people hosting the world's biggest sporting event, it just didn't feel like an Olympics. This is what Beijing looked like in 2008 when China hosted its first Olympics. One of my best memories was going to a shopping mall and seeing the Chinese watch a large TV when Team China played against the USA in basketball. There was so much pride. The night market was alive. People from all around the world trying new foods, excited to learn what China is all about. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like this anywhere before. The atmosphere was festive throughout the city, night and day. People were out having a great time. We did stories for KSL at the Forbidden City, the Beijing Zoo, where China's most popular animal was on display. I think everyone is, everyone is here for the giant panda. We also visited the Ming tombs and, of course, the Great Wall of China, which is one of the world's biggest attractions. This section of the Great Wall is one of the toughest and also one of the most popular. At the top is the end of this section. Yes, I was a lot younger back then, but the mystique of China was one anybody who was here will never forget. Same for meeting some of the locals who were so excited to host the world and to make visitors feel welcome. That feeling wasn't the same now in 2022. That warmth from 14 years ago replaced by an almost cold feeling and not just because these are the winter games. Of course, these tight COVID restrictions should not reflect on the performances of our Utah athletes, gold medalists like Nathan Chen, Aaron Jackson, Alex Hall, and many other athletes who will be bringing medals back home to Utah. But even they will say these performances and these Olympics, they were just different. And as we move forward to Paris, to Milan, Los Angeles, and maybe even Salt Lake City for a future Olympics, hopefully things will feel normal again. In Beijing, one more time for the 2022 Winter Olympics, I'm Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.